Hi everyone, so today we're gonna try to beat 3-3 three, three with grams number once again. So I know in the past I have tried to make, I mean, I make videos about, you know, can grams number beat 3-3 three, three several times and every single time it failed. As you know, uh, because 3-3 three, three is just so, so, so much bigger than grams number Here's a quick example, you know, um, G, I mean, G, 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 64, with J, 64, number of Gs, is still nowhere near 3-3. Three, three. In fact, even if you do something this crazy, so G, 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 64, and there are this many Gs in here, etc., and etc., with G, 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 64, and there are G, 64, number of Gs here, and this number of levels still, it will be nowhere near 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three is just that big. So, but again, I think a lot of people interest in this. They're trying to beat 3-3 three, three with grams number. So this time we're going to try it once again. And um, let's see if we can do it. But however, since every time it fails, so this time we're going to try something different. We're going to... Not gonna compare the size this time. Instead, we're gonna try to look at uh, the growth rate. So in, now we're trying to beat three three using grams number at least using the fast growing hierarchy. So not exactly the size, but now we're trying to beat it in terms of growth rate. But the case here I use is this thing versus this. So this one we use three three over here. F here is the fast growing hierarchy. Um, I have a video on that. You can watch that yourself or you can Google it. So here is F of 3, 3 of N versus GN. So GN is the G sequence that defines grams number. I actually uh, have a poll recently and I believe a vast overwhelming majority pick this one. <laughs> As the winner so they say I think 85% people saying this function grows faster than this again I'm not asking which one is bigger let's say you n is 3 or 4 whatever which one is bigger no I'm not asking that I'm asking which function grows faster in terms of the fast growing hierarchy and in here when I mean which one grows faster it means grow faster in the long run not necessary in the short run but in the long run and in the long run it means will it ever catch up you can go up to infinity or whatever um, but if it if eventually it will catch up that means it grows faster in the long run so before answering question again you can pause the video pick your winner again um, but there's a, actually a much simpler question than this which is this one over here maybe try to ask yourself which function grows faster in the long run so which one will if one will eventually catch up as uh, the other and the other never catch up then that means the one that catches up is the winner or grows faster even though in the short run one of them may not be um, bigger than the other so let's say 3 3 to the power of x versus x to the x or another function here x to the power of 3 3 versus x to the x so which function this grows faster or this one and also if this one grows faster or this one i think this is a much simpler problem i think i think I, I, again most people immediately they may pick this one because they see three three in the function here but if you think deeper this two actually grows faster if x is big enough let's say x is three four which one is bigger obviously this one is bigger or it grows faster because this is 3, 4 to the power of 3, 4. And this is 3, 3 to the power of 3, 4. For this one, this will be 3, 4 to the power of 3, 4. And this is will be this will be 3, 4 to the power of 3, 3. So obviously this one grows faster in the long run. Because if x is smaller than 3, 3, of course this is bigger than this. But eventually it will catch up um, given big enough 
x. So if x is 3, 4, for example, or bigger than 3, 4, this will never catch up to this. So, um, but now let's answer the question quickly. Actually, if you do a little bit of cheating, you already know the answer. If you look at the growth rate of GN in terms of the fast growing hierarchy, but anyway, what is GN? So GN is basically three with GN minus one of arrows three. And we have to define that um, G zero equals to four and N has to be greater than or equal to one. So therefore G one is equal to three with G, uh, using this definition, so N here is one, so one minus one, number of arrows three so that means uh, g1 is equal to three with g0 number of arrows three but since g0 is four so that means g1 is three four arrows three simple so g2 would be three with g um, n here is two so two minus one three that means g2 equal three with g1 of arrows three and g64 is grams number which is three with g16 number g63 number of arrows three and if you want to use uh, the fast going hierarchy to represent the g function it kind of looks like that is an approximation so g1 is approximately f5 of three and again, F here is the fast going hierarchy, and you can read it up yourself, but here is the definition of the fast going hierarchy. So Fm of n is around or slightly bigger than 2 with m minus 1 of arrows n. So therefore, the um, so G1 um, is around F of f5 of 3 here because f5 of 3 is around. 2 using this formula over here 2 with 5 minus 1 up arrows 3 and it will be slightly bigger than 2 with 4 up arrows 3 because you know g1 is 3 4 arrows 3 and this is 2 4 arrows 3 so this g1 is slightly bigger than this but it's close enough therefore g1 is around f5 of 3 and g2 Therefore, it would be around, using the fast growing hierarchy, it would be around f of f5, 3 of 3. So in this case, you can see the pattern over here, g3 will be f, f, f with three f's over here. It's going downward. Um, so around this one, and g64 grams number is around this thing over here with 64 number of f's. And gn, the g sequence would be f with n number of f's, 5n in this case. Because again, if you read here, um, this is around G2 because um, the G1, which is around this number over here, will be the number of arrows. And actually, you know, if you can pause the video if you want, if you look at this deeply, deeper, you can already see that the number of arrows is increasing with increasing N in the G sequence over here. So the number of arrows is increasing as N goes up. Um, so it's kind of like this problem over here, you know, not only the base is increasing, but the power itself is increasing as well. Therefore, eventually, after long enough time, this one grows faster than this, and this one will be bigger than this, eventually. So same idea as the G sequence over here, and in here, you can obviously see that even 3, 3 is a very big number, of course, but the number of arrows is not increasing, as you can see over here, using, again, um, this formula over here, we can find out that f of 3, 3, n is around or slightly bigger than 2 with 3, 3 minus 1 up arrows n. So, I mean, you can... For a number this big, you can kind of omit the minus one over here. So basically, it's around two with three, three number of arrows. And so now let's look at a real example. So let's say, let's substitute n with three. So let's say n is three. So three, three, f of three, 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 it's around two with three, three number of arrows, three. And this number, of course, is uh, way bigger than three, three, because the number of arrows here is three, three itself. Um, but however, what about, um, and of course, if you plug three in here, it will be just three, G3, which is of course much smaller than this. Again, in the short run, it's not going any faster. 
but let's look at much bigger numbers let's say what if n is 3 3 so in this case it will be you plug uh, 3 3 into here so 3 f of 3 3 of 3 3 it's around 2 with 3 3 number of upper rows of 3 3 and if you plug 3 3 into the g sequence it will become g of 3 3 of course which is equal to 3 with g of 3 3 number of up arrows 3 and here you can quickly see the difference here so here there are around 3 3 number of up arrows but here you have g of 3 3 number of up arrows so obviously the number of arrows over here is much much more than the number of arrows over here and therefore you can clearly see that this number is much bigger than this so which means that this function grows faster than this in the long run not in the short run you have to go to i mean n has to be at least 3 3 around 3 3 in order to surpass this function over here but of course once it gets past 3 3 this function will never catch up to this so let's say g4 i mean this this one will be much bigger than this and again, like I said, if you use a little bit of cheating, the growth rate of G sequence using the fast growing hierarchy is actually around F of omega plus one N. So therefore, you, if you cheat, you already know this one grows faster than this, much faster than this one actually. Because omega, again, is the smallest transfinite ordinal which is much bigger than 3 3 here you're just using 3 3 here um, as your fast going hierarchy here as the base here but this one the base is omega plus one so even if you put um, 3 of 3 3 or even uh, lotus number or even radios number it will still grow slower than the g sequence um, so there we have it. Um, I mean, no matter what, whatever big finite number you put here, it will never outgrow the G sequence because the, in terms of fast growing hierarchy, the ordinal here is omega plus one. So this one grows faster than this. And there we have it. Finally, we kind of find something that beats tree three using grams over. I mean, not really, but kind of. But anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.